I am here with Lance with Earth Cruiser, and we're looking at one of these awesome Earth Cruiser vehicles. They're built in Australia, right? Yeah, we have two factories, one in Australia, one in Bend, Oregon. Okay. And uh, and so these are. Uh, do you sell more in Australia or more in Oregon? Right or now we US? sell more in Australia, but okay. we have a strong export business. So because these vehicles, are, they're designed to live in remote areas for as long as you want to, uh -huh. they're set up for long distance, comfortable travel, remote areas. So we have customers okay. all over the world, Mongolia, Sri Lanka, name an interesting place, there's an Earth Cruiser there. Very cool. And so um, who's, your, who's the target? Are, are these just people just hanging out in the forest or are, are you know what are they usually using them for well, excellent question so yeah we'll have a look at this earth cruiser okay, for just cool. a second all right so if you're a very keen skier um, we have people who buy earth cruisers just to chase the snow I mean if the snow's not falling at one particular resort not a problem just in a few minutes you can drive somewhere else because they can survive so well out in the uh, really horrible weather for the ski races they great they love them okay. same with the um, mountain bike guys they love them because they want to be able to get to the stages stay comfortable have a hot shower have plenty of food have all their gear secure makes perfect sense sure we've got world travelers we've got some people here from australia who are, are driving around the world at the moment they fit easily in a shipping container people just literally drive around the world so wow. the, the target customer is just someone who chooses to be a bit free of where they want to go okay who want to our customers are people who just make their own choices yeah. yes and whoever that is uh, yeah. we've got uh, young guys are 23 24 years old have earth cruises to chase the snow wow great you know we've got other people in their 70s uh -huh. never ever been outside before in their life traveling the world. I mean, how good's that? Yeah. And what does one of these cost? A uh, rough ballpark. Rough ballpark. It depends which model, but normally about 190 grand. Okay. Typically. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. All right. So, so here we have. Uh, is this just where? You okay. Yeah. We'll talk about a few of the features of an Earth Cruiser. Okay. So Earth Cruisers again, they're designed for remote, comfortable travel, so you can be independent. Okay. So Earth Cruisers can recycle their own water. They purify their own water. Wow. They have. Well, we we do things like this. Uh, so you don't want to be tracking mud in when you want to fill up your water bottle. This is purified water. Wow. Beautiful. Stuff like that. That's that's makes Earth Cruisers different. You won't yeah. see great big fireplaces. You won't see any of that sort of stuff sure. in an Earth Cruiser. It's okay. all about efficient, comfortable travel. Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll see that it's made basically like a, a, a boat. So okay. it's all marine hardware. Everything's stainless steel. You won't see any nasty, horrible... Uh, typical stuff <laughs> won't happen on an EC and that's why we don't care if it's the rain gets on it there's no wood to rot or warp or sure. whatever it doesn't that's awesome. happen how about, for how about the insulation then with it uh, again because they're made like a boat the laminate schedule is what we call it as we're making the foam core and the fiberglass laminates the insulation property is incredible last night when it was below freezing we had the heater off Wow okay that's, they're that wow. good Okay, so there's no generators. Okay. All the systems are either diesel or solar. So okay. right now in this Earth Cruiser, everything is turned on and it is completely silent. Okay. Oh, cool. Fantastic. And what kind of... Do you have uh, two deep cycle batteries? Uh, yeah. But it's, uh, the, uh, the battery storage system is not overly complicated, but it's about uh, being efficient. So okay. yes, there's deep cycle batteries. It has uh, two smart charging systems, one through the solar, one through the vehicle. So the vehicle will make sure that the deep cycle batteries are never overcharged and it will trickle charge or four stages of charge through the solar controller. Okay. So yeah, we do a, do a lot of work on the inside to make sure these things work. Very cool. Well, let's go check out the inside. Let's do that. After you. Thank you. Ooh. So, with this particular vehicle, and you know, as you would have noticed, it's been a little bit rainy, rainy and muddy lately. Yeah. So, if a vehicle couldn't deal with a little bit of mud, you wouldn't want it, would you? I mean, it's junk. So, with an Earth Cruiser, you just walk through the mud room. That's so, fantastic. Which is also the shower. So, we can very simply just hose ourselves off. We travel with the dog all the time. You know, she yeah. likes to swim. She gets a little bit muddy, and so we can pop her in shower her off great exactly. it, it looks like the, the uh, toilet slides in and slides out to exactly. save space yep so it's a cassette toilet so you don't need a dump station again okay. it's just the freedom to travel freedom to choose that's what we do wow that's fantastic right. i might just stand behind you just quickly okay just so i can sort of point a few things out so with this particular earth cruiser it's again as i said it's everything is turned on right now and you can as you can hear it's it's silent yeah 
That's so, awesome. Yeah, if you want to, you know, if you're into bird watching, you don't want to disturb the animals, it's perfect. That's what you want. You don't want noisy generators. Yeah. So, full size queen bed with storage underneath of it. We have enough storage behind that locked door that you can see. So, for, we have a number of customers who are keen uh, hunters, bird hunters yeah. in particular. So, to sla- safely store your, your firearms. Oh, okay. All right, very important. It's locked away and completely solid. I love the color choices in here. I knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and for if you need to, this pass through through to the cab. Oh, so fantastic! If, I so love the pass through. So if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to have to get out for whatever right. reason, you know, getting eaten by mosquitoes or koala bears, you yeah. can just jump through the cab and drive away. Oh, that's fantastic! So everything is, uh, everything's as we said, solar and diesel. So you are completely self-sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> Very wow. simple command panel. As you see, really easy to clean. It's no big deal. Cool. And so this, we're standing in kind of what can be used as either seating or um, you got like a table here. Does that table pull out? It does. Table spins around all different Oh, that's directions. great. So you can oh, make, that. make more space. Or if you wow. don't want it there, spin it away. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. And this, this is one of those stoves where... It's it, diesel. It's okay, diesel. diesel. Okay. Diesel cooked up. Fantastic. And bear in mind, all of this is only 21 and a half feet long. 21 and a half feet long, okay. The entire vehicle. So it fits in a normal standard car park. So when we talk about freedom to choose, that also means you can decide where you want to go shopping. Right. You're not stuck out in the boonies somewhere not getting those cheeses and the right wines because you can't take your truck there. This just fits in a car park. That's fantastic. No no big deal. And so is this this also a shower? Correct. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. Wonderful. Are these the? Uh, do these have that uh, gas in the? Yeah. They're so they're super insulated then. Wow. And so, blinds, bug screens. Very cool. There you go. What else can I tell you? Awesome. When do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> I want one now. <laughs> oh yeah, you already told us the price. One ninety. One eighty five yeah, is it's a, a good average. price for for a home. Yeah. Well, this particular one is uh, one hundred eighty five thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are some of the upgrades that you would add, like would uh, awnings and? No, that's all standard. Most the, the upgrades most people would add is uh, stereo systems or entertainment systems. Okay. That's the most common. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, they have everything standard already. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. You don't have to worry too much. Wow. Very cool. Thank you so much. So this is this is yours. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for having us in your home. Thank you. And uh, we really appreciate it.